Welcome back, friends, and welcome back to our self-love yoga journey. Today is our day eight, and today is Wednesday. So, in the quote of the day, I really love today. So, the quote sounds like that: "Love yourself enough to set your boundaries, because your time and your energy is too precious, and you get to choose how to use it. Teach people how to treat yourself." by guiding them what you will accept and what you won't accept. I think it's just an amazing saying. So let's think about this again. Love yourself enough so you can set your oven boundaries because your time and your energy is too precious to waste and you get to choose how to use it. Teach other people how to treat you by deciding and guiding them what you will accept and what you won't accept. So let's begin our practice today, guys, in our extended puppy pose. So we're gonna go get on the knees and we will talk about it. And again, I really want to hear what's happened with you yesterday. Maybe if you didn't share what's happened with you on the weekend, maybe you had some breakthroughs, maybe, some, maybe you met some amazing people who taught you something about the self-love, maybe you wrote someone, someone about the self-love. Let's set the tailbone in between the knees and set, guys, your heart on the floor. If it doesn't go all the way down, you can find some block or blanket or pillow maybe you have in your house. So let's go ahead and just set your head on the side or chin down like that. If you don't have any neck injuries, and we will just hold it for the few breaths to begin with. So relax your toes. Relax your hands. And once we are in the puppy pose, guys, rather than trying to push in that heart towards the ground, just expand through the shoulders, through the back, create a more bigger service. And give it a breath or two more. And then slowly rise up. Let's take the hands wider than your mat. And we're gonna go for the little waking up of the shoulders, a few soft push-ups, not to train the arms or chest, but kind of to open the region of upper body. Open that heart, open that heart for love for today, definitely. So we can begin our day in the right note and radiate that love for other people and be able to accept it and be able to keep rising that self-love towards ourselves. We all have different stories, guys, different history, different childhood, different families, and there is no ideal childhood. I have never met anyone who had ideal childhood. Let's go ahead and shift the hips back and then shift them forward. I truly have never met anyone. Everyone has their own stories. Sometimes the stories are very harsh. Sometimes it's a little bit less harsh. So let's do a couple more. It's almost like a cobra, but your hands are wider, guys. So, but we all had some challenges and we learned to deal and navigate through them. But sometimes those leave some scars in the soul and it's impact our self-love because someone did say something, someone close to us, and then it's just carries through the life for so many years until we realize that you are your own person. And let's step back up here and take our hands, guys, closer and cobra or sphinx pose if you can't be in a cobra position. And let's look above the shoulders a couple times. And again, it's your choice to accept who you are and be able to set the boundaries. I think so, because many times I fall in the trip as well. So many people want so many things from me. And I used to have a very hard time to say no. Let's come back and walk to the center. We're going to extend our knees and go for the first time for face line dog. And today we're going to do a few lunges, guys. And actually, to set the boundary story, I want to share with you my personal thing, which is kind of hard to share, but I guess I had to go through that. So let's take the right leg up and open first and step forward for that longer lunge hold. So release your toes so you can actually set the front knee above the front ankle, guys. And let's do a few 
shoulder rolls and I will tell you my story. It's a long story again, I have so many of them, but I will tell you short. Before I got married, I had that boyfriend, very smart boyfriend, and we've been dating for many years, built a life together. And the way he treated me at that time, I actually thought that's how the guy is supposed to treat the woman. He was trying to make me to tie his shoes on my knees. And at that time, I thought it was very strange. However, I never did it though. Eventually, we broke up. But going through the life journey now, I'm realizing how terrible it was. So you get to choose those boundaries in how people treat you, no matter who it is, male, female, friends, brothers, sisters, teachers, loved ones. We have to choose the boundaries, co-workers. Let's step back, guys, to our plank. Let's wake up that body. We're going to do a few side planks. I know it sounds horrible, probably, but it is what it is. We all have those stories. So please share with me if you have any story like that and that actually might help someone else not to fall in that trap and make the choice and decision to set the boundaries a little bit quicker than i did it took me a few years anyway let's do a couple more times Ooh, and we're gonna go back to our downward facing though guys relax the spine lengthen in the back Drop the crown, shoulder blades apart, long extended back, and take the left leg up and open and step forward, my friends. Let's release the toes at the back, front knee above the front ankle. Let's do a few more spacious circles to wake up the shoulders, to wake up the heart so we can lead with productive day and achieve everything you only want to achieve and nothing can stop you no one else doesn't matter who else will tell you you can't or you can't you can or you can't you're going to be follow your own directions because you have to choose to set the boundaries remember like in that quote and teach people how to treat yourself that's really important let's go ahead and step back in our plank just like here and from here we're going to lift our feet for a few times keep the body warm it's a strong morning yoga practice today let's do a few more four three two and one let's slowly bring the hips on the floor bring your one elbow underneath another and go ahead and grab your foot press right on top waking up those knees half frog pose half mandukasana Keep on breathing, guys. And let's take it back to the other side. And gently press on the ankle. Keep on breathing. In through that nose, out through that nose. It doesn't have to go all the way low till the floor. Take it gently back. Come on back up, guys. Let's return back to our little extended puppy pose. Give yourself a good quality straight, all the way, fingertips away from the shoulder. Shoulders are spacious. And let's slowly return back to the center, guys. Let's do a few shoulder rolls up here and just a few neck stretches before we will go for this wonderful full of unknown day let's take the arms behind and just connect straight it take the head side to side neck needs to be stretched all the time and let's do another side all the way feels so good i have three classes to complete today i have one yoga class one pilates class i'm going to be teaching and i have one power circuit class i'm going to be teaching so i have to I better get ready for this. All right, guys, let's take all the way, arms up and open. Draw everything you want to draw inside that heart, the happiness, the commitment, the passion. And let's guys set an intention inside that heart that we get to choose how other people will treat us. And we're gonna teach them what we will accept 
in what we will not accept because that's your precious time because that's your precious energy and you get to choose how to use it love yourself enough please share with me your experiences through this day maybe something wonderful would happen i want to hear it from you and you might save and help someone else and i can't wait to see you tomorrow